Well, when we hear about earthquakes striking in California, we often point to the San Andreas Fault. But did you know California actually has two pretty active faults? The recent earthquakes in the Sierra are a great reminder of California's other very active earthquake zone. Now, when you think about earthquakes, you're probably thinking about earthquakes along the San Andreas Fault. Beneath the scenic beauty of California lies a ticking time bomb. The San Andreas Fault, a geological giant, one of the most famous and infamous fault lines in the world that could unleash devastation on an unimaginable scale, has been showing some unusual activity recently. For years, scientists have warned us about the potential for a major earthquake along this fault line. But what's scary is that recent unusual activities suggest that the big one, even more than that which occurred in San Francisco in 1906, might be closer than we think. What's happening deep within the Earth that's causing experts to sound the alarm? Could the next big quake strike at any moment? Join us as we unravel the mystery and explore why these recent events could be a harbinger of a catastrophic earthquake. What's happening now? The San Andreas Fault stretches approximately 800 miles through California, from the Pacific Ocean near Eureka in the north to the Salton Sea in the south. It marks the boundary between two massive tectonic plates, the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate. These plates are constantly moving, but they don't slide past each other smoothly. Instead, they get stuck, building up stress over time. When this stress is finally released, it results in an earthquake. To understand why recent activities in the San Andreas Fault are so concerning, we first need to grasp the fault's history and behavior. The fault has a long record of causing significant earthquakes, including the devastating 1906 San Francisco earthquake, which nearly destroyed the city and killed thousands of people. This history has led to the belief that the San Andreas Fault is overdue for another major quake, often referred to as the Big One. Scientists have long feared that the southern section, which runs through the densely populated Los Angeles area, is overdue for a major quake. Imagine the ground beneath your feet, suddenly shaking uncontrollably. But what exactly is going on beneath the surface that has experts increasingly concerned. In recent months, scientists have observed a series of unusual activities along the San Andreas Fault. These include a sharp increase in small to moderate earthquakes, strange ground movements, and changes in the behavior of nearby faults that are connected to the San Andreas system. While small earthquakes are common in California, the recent swarm of tremors is different. It's not just their frequency, but also their location and the depth at which they're occurring that have raised eyebrows. One of the most intriguing and alarming phenomena observed is what's known as creeping. In certain sections of the San Andreas Fault, the ground is slowly shifting without causing noticeable earthquakes. While this might sound like a good thing, releasing stress gradually instead of all at once it could actually be a warning sign, potentially increasing the likelihood of a larger, more destructive earthquake. Another critical factor to consider is the interconnectedness of fault lines. The San Andreas Fault is part of a complex network of faults crisscrossing California. When stress builds up or is released in one area, it can influence the activity in nearby faults. This means that an unusual event on the San Andreas Fault could trigger a domino effect, potentially setting off earthquakes on other faults, some of which run under highly populated areas like Los Angeles and San Francisco. Recent studies have also shown that the southern section of the San Andreas Fault, which hasn't experienced a major earthquake in over 300 years, is particularly vulnerable. This section, near Los Angeles, has been under immense stress for a long time, and some experts believe that it could be the epicenter of the next big one. 
Let's dive into the terrifying science that could be behind the fear of these scientists and their warnings. The science behind the warnings. So, what exactly are scientists looking at when they issue these warnings? One key tool is GPS technology, which allows researchers to measure the movement of the Earth's crust with incredible precision. By placing GPS sensors along the fault, scientists can track how much the ground is shifting over time. Any sudden or unusual movements can be a red flag that something is brewing beneath the surface. Another critical method involves seismometers, which detect and record the intensity and frequency of earthquakes. By analyzing the data from these instruments, scientists can identify patterns that might suggest an increased likelihood of a major quake. In the case of the San Andreas Fault, the recent increase in smaller quakes, often referred to as foreshocks, could be a sign that the fault is unlocking preparing to release the built-up stress in one large and destructive event. Geological studies of the San Andreas Fault have shown that large earthquakes tend to occur at regular intervals. The last major earthquake on the southern section of the fault happened in 1680, which means that it's been over 300 years since the fault last released a significant amount of stress. Given this historical pattern, Many experts believe that the fault is overdue for a major earthquake. But if the San Andreas Fault were to unleash the big one, how prepared are we? Unfortunately, the answer to this is really complicated. California has some of the most stringent building codes in the world, designed to minimize damage during an earthquake. However, not all buildings are up to code. One of the biggest concerns is the potential for widespread infrastructure damage. The San Andreas Fault runs close to several major highways, power lines, and aqueducts that supply water to millions of people. A major earthquake could sever these lifelines, leading to prolonged outages and a lack of essential services. Emergency responders could be overwhelmed, and getting help to those in need could be a logistical nightmare. And while the thought of a major earthquake is undeniably frightening, there are steps that individuals and communities can take to mitigate the risks. This includes securing heavy furniture to walls, having an emergency kit with food, water, and medical supplies, and knowing how to shut off utilities. On a broader scale, communities can invest in earthquake-resistant infrastructure and ensure that new buildings are constructed to the highest seismic standards. Retrofitting older buildings can also make a significant difference in reducing damage and saving lives. It's not just about the buildings, though our roads, bridges and utilities also need to be reinforced to withstand a major quake. Public awareness and education are crucial too. The more people understand the risks and know what to do in the event of an earthquake. Schools, workplaces, and local governments should all have plans in place and conduct regular drills to ensure that everyone knows what to do when the ground starts shaking. So, what do you think of this catastrophic earthquake that is caused by San Andreas Fault and its potential effects or impacts to our world? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, follow, share, and subscribe for more. Also, click on the next video on your screen. You will enjoy it.